Welcome back nail queens. In today's video, I'm going to do a simple builder gel mani over my jelly tips using this builder gel by Soul Dips. It is a pink glitter, like clear base builder gel. It is really, really pretty. She has other ones like a blue glitter one and tons of iridescent -y ones that I think are absolutely gorgeous, but this is the only one I have that's like this. So I'm gonna start off by applying the builder gel to my thumb. My house is really, really cold right now, so it's a little more difficult to use than if my house was like room temperature. Also, please do not mind this little boo-boo on my hand. It's actually healing quite well, thank goodness, but I've been doing some home improvement projects around the house. I'm currently building a closet in my master bedroom and I kind of hurt myself like when I was taking out the baseboards, yeah. So um, that's kind of why I need more builder gel on my nails too is because of these home improvement projects. I need my nails to be as strong as possible so that they don't break or anything while I'm doing these projects. I've had these jelly tips on for almost two weeks now, so you can kind of see a little grow out gap right there between my skin and the jelly tips. So I'm going to use a liner brush. I have a box of different nail art gel brushes here. I'm gonna use one I got from Shein this past week. You guys probably saw my haul video and this came in that like pack of three that I got. I think this is the shortest one that came in that pack of three. So I'm gonna use this liner brush just to paint the builder gel closer to my cuticle area because if you've done this before, you know that using a builder gel brush, the ones that come in the bottle, are a little more difficult to get those precise, closer to the edges, kind of clean kind of look. So that's why I'm using the liner brush to bring the builder gel out to the corners without touching my skin. So I'm gonna repeat this process on all of my nails the same way I just did, even using a liner brush for each of the nails to get closer to the sidewalls and the cuticle area. Now, if you're wondering why my nails are shiny, it's because I'm wearing jelly tips. I've been wearing them, I feel like, nonstop for like the last six months. I really love wearing jelly tips. It gives me a great shape without me having to do all the shaping work. Now, if you guys are interested in builder gel videos or tips and trick videos, I have a whole builder gel playlist. I've done it on like regular tips that you apply at the free edge. I've done it on my natural nails. I think I've done it with paper forms as well. I've done quite a few builder gel videos, so if you want to see it not on top of jelly tips, then go check out the playlist. I will link it in the description box below for you. So I'm gonna cure this in between layers. I make sure after I'm done putting the builder gel on each individual nail, I cure it in my nail lamp for at least 30 seconds. And at the end, I'm gonna give all of my nails a full cure of 60 seconds. I'm using a 40, 40, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm using a 48 watt nail lamp. I'm using a triple D one, but I also have the painted desert one here on my desk. I do have a review coming on that soon. I think I did a fill recently using that lamp. It's a really good lamp. If you want a lamp on a budget, I definitely recommend the painted desert one. But if you want something with like all the bells and whistles, meaning it's cordless and all those things, the triple D one is incredible. I also want to note that the temperature of the room that your builder gel like sits in, stays in all the time, and even where you're doing your nails greatly affects gel products. 
for example, my AC was working really well today. <laughs> it's been raining and cloudy and overcast here in Texas, or at least where I'm at. And uh, it hasn't been a scorching fucking hot, like the devil's hell. Um, it hasn't been so hot, thank goodness. And our AC has been working great. That means it's been really, really cold in the house. And the colder that it is, the thicker that your gels will be. So if you're experiencing that you take your builder gel out of the bottle and you're like, why is this so thick? Why is it so difficult for me to work with this? It is because it is probably cold. So if you're, you're like, oh, it's been sitting in a cold area, you may want to warm it up to make it easier to work with. But do you know that the more warm it is, the more runny it is? So you might experience flooding. It's like a, a double-edged sword kind of. So you don't want things too warm, like heated up, hot. So room temperature is best. Here I noticed that some of the gel was kind of like flowing down towards the right side, which would be the left side right here, but the right side when my hand is fully extended. So what I was trying to do was move the gel to the center so that it focused there. And then I like to flip my hand upside down as well to help the gel pull towards the center to form a better apex. But so far, all of my nails are looking great. They're not too thick, not too bulky, which is exactly like my goal. So now I'm going to move on to the last nail and repeat the same exact steps that I've been doing where I paint it on with the brush and then use a liner brush to do the rest. Now Builder Gel dries tacky, meaning I have to apply a no wipe top coat to my nails to make sure they look nice and glossy and smooth without tackiness. But before I do that, I had a little visitor stop by. This is Mommy Cat. She doesn't always get on my desk, not as much as the other two. Um, so this is her. She's been really craving more attention lately, which I appreciate because I love giving her all the cuddles. So say hello to Talia. There she is. She's a really gorgeous cat. By the way, if anybody lives in the Houston area and wants a mama cat and a kitten, we have to rehome them. We have way too many cats. We have six in the house right now. It's kind of like a lot. And don't get me wrong. I absolutely adore Talia. I love her kittens. We've already found up permanent homes for two of the kittens. Now the gray baby and the mommy are literally attached at the hip. And it's just so funny because they look basically identical. And mannerisms. They're both timid and shy. It just sucks because like our three cats that we had before them, um, Alfred likes Talia, but Talia was pregnant when they met and Talia was like, yeah, no, get away from me. Harvey, our female cat, she steered clear of Talia and Bane, our orange tabby, he's our sweetest one. I don't know what the heck happened. He attacks Talia. So it's just not safe for her to stay in our house knowing like the the attitude that our cats might have towards her. I want her to have a forever happy home and seeing that her and her little gray baby are literally attached to the hip. They sleep together all the freaking time. They play together, everything. It's so freaking cute. I just, I want her to have a wonderful home and I'm sorry that I interrupted this video with talk about the cats. All right, and that is it. I have my gel top coat applied to all of them. I'm gonna cure this. All right, now I'm back. Let me know in the comments below which one do you prefer. Do you prefer like clear jelly tips or do you like the extra added sparkle? Is this something that you would do? Maybe I should apply my jelly tips with a clear glittery builder gel like this underneath. Hmm. Something to keep in mind in the future. So now I just have to apply cuticle oil now that everything is nice and dry to add a hydration back into my skin. I use cuticle oil literally daily. I try to apply that or some kind of moisturizer in some way to my hands 
every time that I wash my hands because it's just washing my hands, the soap, everything is just extra dehydrating. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys for coming back and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.